Welcome to Wrong Time Watch. My name is Kevin and today we're looking at the Artem Straps Hydroflex Straps. Uh, they did provide these straps for the video so I will mark this video as a paid promotion. Uh, these are their new straps and they are a hybrid strap. You have the sailcloth on the top of the strap and then the underside of the strap is FKM rubber. They did provide two straps for the video here. Uh, we have black and then we have gray. Uh, they let me pick two colors. They offer gray with gray stitching, green with green stitch stitching, blue and blue, and then black and black. And they all do have these black FKM rubber keepers. I've been wearing this watch um, off and on, so total about a week just to get some wear with this strap. In the black strap I did not wear at all, so I want to install, I'll probably actually swap these around, but I wanted to install this on a watch and get it on wrist and see if I can feel a difference between the broken in, uh, we'll say broken in with air quotes, and then the um, one that I haven't worn at all. The Their sailcloth straps take um, maybe a week or two to break in, and uh, I don't think these really need any break in period at all. So I'm not sure if I mentioned, but the price for these straps is $218 a piece. And right now they're just offered in 20 millimeter lug width. Uh, I don't know, but I would imagine they're going to offer them in different lug widths. Perhaps different colors, I don't know, but uh, keep that in mind. And these do have quick release pins, so nice and easy to get on and off the watch. So this one is on my 40 millimeter Hamilton khaki king automatic i think i said that right i always get mixed up with the names but uh very comfortable on wrist um felt like no break-in period needed we'll confirm that here in a moment and uh, i have not had any issues with the strap i but again i haven't worn it long term but i would expect there shouldn't be any issues with it i do like that you have these little nubs here to keep the keeper in place uh, it still is a floating keeper, but it's kind of held in place there. And this one, of course, floats around. Really like that these keepers are rubber. Uh, metal keepers are pretty much pointless. Uh, anyway, let's let me get this. I'll get this watch on wrist on this strap. I'll put these on here, and then I'll switch them around to just to get a different flavor. Uh, I was going to install the straps on this watch, but I like this bracelet so much. I'm just going to leave it on bracelet. So. Uh, Tudor Ranger 39 millimeter, uh, very comfortable watch on the bracelet, T-fit clasp. So anyway, let's uh, put this one on wrist. If you haven't subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button. I really appreciate it. Um, I was going to sell this watch, but I don't know, it's gone through some stuff, so I'll probably just keep it. It's got a big ding on it. So I have a six and a half inch wrist with a 52 millimeter wristband and I'm on the second tightest hole with this watch. So you could probably go down to six and a quarter and maybe up to eight inches. Um, and this strap doesn't seem to be as long as some other straps I've had. Usually this thing will be up here hanging out so it's pretty much below my wrist. Let's hang on a little bit, but that's kind of a, a me problem with the small wrist. So here's the gray. Uh, gray straps surprise me. They pretty much look good. They pretty much look good on every watch. You know, kind of like a black strap, but it's gray, so a little bit of color. Second hand's not moving on this one. There we go, give it a little shake. All right, so let's get the black on this one. This is the blue dial. And the indices are kind of a gray color, so I'm hoping the gray strap will look nice on this. Uh, but let's see if I can demonstrate how quick it is to use the quick release straps. I bought this watch from Japan. I think it was Seiya Japan or Sakura, can't remember. SBSA113, pretty sure that's the model number. I don't know why I remember that. I can't really remember my wife's birthday, but model numbers 
anyway, um, there we go. So got that on there pretty quick. Really cool looking watch. And uh, I like that it has the kanji date. Push pull crown, so nice and easy to do that with it. And you can just start winding it. Yeah, I need to wear this watch more often. It came on a bracelet, but uh, Seiko bracelets Seiko bracelets are usually trash, uh, especially in this price range. They do offer nice bracelets on their more expensive watches, but not on these. Okay, so just put it on wrist for the first time. Um, yeah, you know, I think they do need a little bit of a break-in period. It's kind of popping off my wrist a little bit. Um, feels maybe a little bit tight, so I don't know if it's... I would say it's more so the sailcloth. So it probably does need a little bit of a break-in period, but it uh, doesn't seem like that much of a break-in period is needed. And we do have a milled buckle and a milled tang. And this is um, black on black. Well, the stitching so far matches the strap color on all of these. So you can take a shower with these, go swimming, uh, whatever you want to do. You're not going to mess up the strap. Um, I've never showered with a watch. At least that I recall. Not intentionally, at least. So, let's get this on the gray. And um, again, the same size as the other one, so let's say probably about from a six and a quarter up to a eight inch wrist should be good. I have a six and a half inch wrist. So let's get this one off of here. This one off of here. I'm just going to bend them in my hand here a little bit. Not that much of a difference. Yeah, I mean this one, I guess it has broken in a little bit, so still super comfortable on wrist. So a little bit of uh, massaging with my fingers and that one will probably be feeling uh, very good on wrist. See, I always forget this. I think this part goes on the top. All right, got that one in there. If you haven't subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button. I really appreciate it. Hmm, I don't know. I think they offered this in blue, what did I say? Yeah, I think blue would look really nice on this. The gray does not look too bad. I thought it'd go a little better, but it's uh, it's not bad. Let me know what you think. Gray strap or black strap? Looks like I can almost might be able. To, I could probably get it on that tightest hole if I really wanted to. Might not be able to get it back off wrist, but anyway, here we go. And then we'll try the black on Khaki King. I bought this watch used and it came on a collar rub leather strap. No box, no factory strap, but uh, anyway, it'll probably stay in the collection. We'll see. I still think of it as kind of a ugly duckling, du ugly duckling watch. Who knows, I might sell it. Anyway, there we go, black on black. All right, well, that will conclude this video. As always, thank you for your time and thank you for watching.